We turn now back to Russia's war in Ukraine, the entirely unprovoked war that's now been going on for four months, two weeks, and two days. My next guest just returned from a trip to the Ukraine border where he saw firsthand the efforts being made to support the Ukrainian people. Joining me now is Democratic Congressman Raja Krishnamurthy of Illinois. He's a member of the House Intelligence and Oversight Committee. And, and uh, Congressman, thanks for being with us, first of all. You, you and I were talking uh, yesterday, in, and you were, you're deeply concerned that while we're on the right side of the equation here with respect to this war and have been since day one, it's it, people are losing focus on it. It is it becomes hard after four months and two days to uh, four, four months and four days to to keep focused on this. People start worrying about other things. And you're here to remind us why we can't do that. That's exactly right, Ali. Um, I was struck by the remarkable and rapid deployment of the sophisticated weapon systems that we've shipped to the Ukrainians. Uh, in their fight against the Russians. Uh, take, take, for example, the HIMARS system, which is the uh, high mobility artillery rocket systems, which are inflicting deep uh, losses behind uh, enemy lines uh, in Ukraine. Uh, the question, of course, is uh, how quickly we can supply the Ukrainians with these sophisticated weapon systems, uh, given the Russians' uh, advantage in manpower and equipment. But as long as the Ukrainians uh, do a remarkable job of deploying these weapon systems, um, I'm hopeful that they can outlast the Russians on the front lines. Well, let's talk about outlasting, because with each day that this goes on, and remember, at the beginning of this thing, U.S. intelligence, Russian intelligence, British intelligence, everybody thought this was going to be over in very short order, and then it wasn't. And that's what rallied the world, the idea that that uh, these these Ukrainians were able to fight, out, fight off a much bigger, much more established army from a much richer country. With each day this goes on, does it not feel that Russia's gaining the advantage because the world sort of forgets about the intensity with which we need to continue to support Ukraine? Well, I think that's why we have to shore up support for the Ukrainians as much as possible, because it is going to be a long slog. Um, I, I do think that the uh, Russians, um, even though they're willing to throw massive numbers of people into the, um, you know, the, the, the death grinder, uh, on the front lines of the uh, Ukrainian battle battle scene, um, you know, even uh, Vladimir Putin is reluctant, for instance, to engage in a general mobilization order within his own country uh, to get everybody into the fight, because I do think that he also fears, uh, you know, the repercussions of a long drawn out war in Ukraine. All that being said, the Ukrainians have to continue to receive. Uh, the support that we've sent them so far and then some so that they can do everything they can to make uh, this particular war as painful for the Russians as possible. What was your sense of the resolve of the Ukrainian people? It amazed me while I was in Eastern Europe and meeting a lot of them who had come across to Hungary or, or uh, Poland, the, the remarkable resolve they had. And then once I was in Ukraine, uh, it, it, it was only reinforced. For people who have taken a hell of a beating for more than four months, they don't seem to be weakening in their resolve to say, this is not going to end with any other way than Russia getting out of Ukraine. That's exactly right, Ali. Um, I was impressed by the Ukrainians' resolve, but I'm also impressed by the resolve of the allies, including the Polish. Remember, yep. the Polish um, are now um, basically taking care of two to three million refugees, mostly uh, children and women and elderly in their country. Uh, they're doing so without batting an eye. And I think that goes to how our allies in Europe view this as an existential threat and I think when they do so, uh, they obviously um, are preparing for the, the long costs of the war. Um, I think the Ukrainians have morale on their side, high morale on their side, um, and, and the Russians do not, quite frankly. Congressman, good to see you. Thank you for joining us this morning. We always appreciate you on the show. Democratic Representative Raja Krishnamurthy of Illinois. All right.